folks, it's 21 Maxwell here and welcome to episode 8, season 2, episode 2, I think, of um, the Schalke Showdown with myself and the evil Toxic Lennon. He's got Toxic in his name so he must be evil. But yeah, uh, basically the series between myself and Toxic, we were both battling as managers of Schalke and the race is to simply win the Bundesliga first. So he first joined us, uh, for this season anyway the opening day of the season. Quite a bit has changed since then, obviously we've played a lot of league games. Um, we've had a Champions League group, we've continued progression in the German Cup and we've had some signings as well, ins and outs. So we quickly go to that. Uh, since you last joined us, we have managed to secure the loan signing of Fede Cartabia. I don't know mind if he was here for the last video, but he's definitely here now. Uh, he's been absolutely outstanding. But what, a, what a loan signing that is from Valencia. And uh, hopefully he can be just a, a great impact player, maybe even start him a bit more. Uh, honestly, just a, a quality technical footballer. Uh, we also brought in from Lanus. I wasn't actually sure if this guy was actually in the database or if this was the FM Wonder Kids database. But no, he's actually real. Marcos Astina. And again, looks like a cracking young player. He's definitely got a lot of potential there. And I think he's somebody that can certainly get us some goals when he's older. Uh, Hopefully, you know, can make an impact sooner rather than later. Uh, but there's definitely a lot of potential there. And a bit of quality right now, which obviously we're looking for. And then I kind of needed a, like a, a tough tackling defender or midfielder. So we're in for Juraj Kutka. Uh, the only reason I knew of him, um, because I was watching a Milan game and they said they'd signed him for Genoa. And then I happened to notice his name in the free agent list and I went, well, you cover what I need. A ball winning midfielder. He's going to be in a very low wage for a season. Let's bring in, and he's been actually very, very solid since he came in. So, absolutely delighted with um, Jurash Kutka and that uh, halfback role we've been playing him. So, I've tweaked the formation a little bit as well. As far as outs have went, uh, we decided to eventually loan out a lot of players. Uh, big name there would probably be Leroy Sani. He's way to Leverkusen. So, interesting if he gets him there because he's certainly been played uh, in real life for Schalke. I just feel in FM there's a lot more options that are better than him. So he's not really, um, as I say, getting much of a chance at the moment here. Eventually sold Franco De Santo, 3.9 million to Augsburg. As good as it was last season, the options we have this year are obviously far better. Uh, Dennis Iogo only went for 1.8 million to Red Bull Leipzig. But again, my other options were better and I feel it was time to move him on. Apart from that, just a couple of loans out as well. And then Santana and Ozturt going out for a combined 1.1 million. So now you ask, how has the season went? Actually not too bad, until recently. Started off very well, obviously he joined us for the great win at Frankfurt. And then we took on Leverkusen, which obviously was going to be a very difficult game. Max Meyer opened the scoring, before Edgar Prieb put one back for Leverkusen. And then the Valencia duo of Fede Cartabia and Paco Alcacer gave us two goals there to give us a 3-1 victory. So amazing from day two. And yeah, it was a great victory and put us on a good run. We then travelled to Gladbach, and I thought we could struggle here, until Chicharito thumbed up with two early goals. They did pull it back through Raphael and Josef Dermic, before Fede Caltabia again on as an impact sub with an absolutely amazing free kick and at the back of the net to give us a great three points there. For an international break, we travelled with a home tie against Mainz. Brilliant performance for the boys, Julian Draxler and Max Meyer gave us a 2-0 lead. Bengston pulled one back for Mainz. Danny Latza gets sent off before Big Nastasic pulled in a third goal there, which was good. So we're doing okay offensively. Pretty weak on the defensive side, you know, no clean sheets in the league at the moment at this stage. And then after the break, we travelled to Red Bull Leipzig, and it was to be a disappointing day. You can see an early penalty, and of course, who do we just sell to Red Bull Leipzig? But Dennis Agogo, and he decided to score the opening goal. Chicharito equalised instantly before they went ahead again through Kaiser. We then scored again through Chicharito. Unfortunately, then got an injury to Junior Karakia after using all three of our subs, which meant Omar Damari and Yunus Mali gave Red Bull Leipzig a 4 2 victory. A Champions League draw has seen us draw against Siska, Stewart, and Atletico, which I thought that's pretty easy, we should go through. It's not looking that way. We took on Siska, um, dominated them all game. Couldn't score. Unfortunately, Junior Karakia gets sent off. And then Junior Morazes, or Morazes, however you're pronouncing his name, gave him the winner with two minutes to go. 
raging. Absolutely fucking furious. But that is football for you. Back to league action. Seen his take on Hoffenheim. Kevin Vollen gave us the opening goal to Hoffenheim, which made me think, oh, no, another one of these days. But Rodrigo pulled one back, and it was Marcos Astina who got the winner eight minutes from time. Then travelled to Stuttgart. Very disappointing game from everybody. Gettner and Timo Werner with the two goals there. Maxim chopper mooting pulled one back, but unfortunately just an awful day at the office. The trip to Stuttgart, pretty much the same as the Siska game. Dominated them all game before Adrian Popper got the winner. Seven minutes to go. We gave Chicharito a chance. Katabia came on, but neither guy could be the man that managed to give us the, the goal to get us a point. So it's not looking good in the Champions League. Played to a loss to, you can see here from Group F, and um, you know it's already looking bleak. Next two games against Atletico, um, we, could be, we could be literally eliminated from all competition after the two games. But our final league game we played was Dusseldorf, and it was a lovely 3-0 win. It did take us a bit of time to score, Marco, Marco Hoga on 55 minutes, then Goretzka and Cartavia made it 3-0. I'll go over the table after the game. It's coming up now, which is Werder Bremen, so it's I think it's second versus third. Let's say we'll look over it and we'll see how everybody is after the game. There's a team that's obviously qualified for the Champions League last year, so Bremen will not be easy. Uh, I've picked my team already, I've tweaked the formation slightly. I felt the way we were playing, um, next to the anchor man, I felt there was still a lot of space and we were losing a lot of goals through that. So that's obviously when I brought in Kutka to play as a halfback. So I sacrificed a centre back to play as a halfback. And now it just looks like an anchor with two bits off to the side. So the team for this game is going to be Ralph Farman, Nastasic, Benedict Helides, uh, Yoshida, Kutka, Nost uh, Neustarter, Rama, uh, Baba Raman, Leon Goretzka, Max Meyer, Rodrigo and Chicharito. Our subs are going to be Fabinho, Junior Caracchia, Julian Draxler, the returning Klaasian Huntela, Marco Hoga, Fede Cartavia, and Paco Alcacer. So without further ado guys, we'll jump into the game. Hopefully it's a good performance. So we've got a lot of good options on the bench. We've got a lot of good options in the... I've made the 18, which you know, allows us to rotate. But I think it could also be a stage where we maybe look to, to sell some of those on. Let's see who should we really be worrying about here. Bastos could get some goals. They also have Felix Cruz, Jusinovic. Anything we should be worrying about from the bench. Obraniak is pretty decent. Uja they signed from... My, oh, I said Mainz. I might have been Cologne. Where did they sign him from? Cologne. Ah, he was at Mainz before then. Yep. So he's somebody to worry about. He can definitely get a couple of goals. He's a big physical player. And big Lakina as well. He's a big physical defender as well that they might bring on. But we'll see how our boys do. Um, we'll go with the usual Oliver Reinhardt on um, team instructions. And as always, I'll just say to the boys, you know, get out there, pick up where you left off, because that last game you were very good. And just tell everybody, there's always doing any team talks. I don't feel team talks are that great in this. But every man can can make the difference here. You know, they can either make us win or, um, or see us fail. So it'll be interesting to see how they do. Hopefully they can get a win here. It's not going to be easy. Here we go, Goretzka, Chicharito, and it's offside. He's been on a bit of goal drought at the moment, but he had literally like nine goals in like nine games, although most of them were in the early part of the season. So hopefully we can get him in the score sheet, ball in. Here's Bartes. Here's Badaraman. Options, Max Meyer. Good tackle there for Cruz, well one. Not lost that again. And boys pressure. I think sometimes we do like that bit of pressure, and I might look at that and maybe get the boys to kind of st stick to their man a bit more. It's a ball in, get it away, Noid starter, just a bit clumsy in possession. You know, there's times where we could probably do better to retain possession, and we just don't seem to do it. There's Yoshida, again Max Meyer, too lightweight. Makide. Yoshida manages to win it. Again, we're just not winning that. You know, we're always in that first ball and we're just losing the headers. At least we're getting to the second ball at times. Maya, Rodrigo, Chicharito. Is this one going to count? It does count. It's Chicharito. His 10th goal of the season. The little Mexican little P manages to somehow stay on side. That's a wee bit debatable. I'm not going to lie. I think the other centre half there next to Galvez may have played them on. But we'll take that. Our first shot at goal properly. And Chicharito makes it 1-0 Schalke. 
And that's exactly why we brought him in, just to put the ball in the back of the net. If we can feed the ball to him, I had no problems that he's going to put that ball in the back of the net. You know what I mean? He could have been what we were missing last year when Hunter Lawler went down with an injury. You know I mean, if we've got so many options that can get us goals, I'll be delighted. But it seems it's going to be a shit end to the first half. But we'll take that at half time. We're 1-0 up, so I'll set the boys. Passionate. I'm happy with your performance. Everybody's motivated by the front three. I'm actually not going to change anything. Because I feel Rodrigo can maybe come on to a game if we motivate him correctly. And um, I don't want to give him a lot of 45, but I do want to give him some game time here. Here's Juzinovic. Got on Max Meyer. you are never known for pace, but this could be a good counter attack if we use the numbers wisely. Rodrigo. Max Meyer. 2 0. And that is a counter attack if I've ever seen one. Max Meyer with the finish. Unbelievable, that is what we want to see bursting through. That's why there's so much pace and energy in the side. But Rodrigo, it's a nice wee flick there, and Max Meyer slots it by the keeper's left hand side and into the bottom corner. Superb. We've only had four shots, we've only had two in target. And that is why we wanted to keep Rodrigo on, just for that bit of pace, that bit of energy. And yeah, he's, he's came good there. I think we might be looking at taking off um, possibly Goretzka as they've got another injury, Felix Cruz. And then we'll put on Marco Hoga for Goretzka, give him a little bit of rest. I think we'll be putting it on maybe the last 20 minutes. We're all happy with this so far. But here's another chance. Juzinovic again. Cleared that can Max Meyer make something happen. This time a good counter attack. Noid start with. Oh, if there's no bad touch there, we've got bodies bombing forward. There's Baba Raman. It's a good tackle. Well recovered again. We just they win the first ball, the second ball not so much. Oh, and Ralph Farm into the nightmare where his Bastos manages to slide it under him. But it's good pulled up play from them. It's a nice wee through ball there from Lorenzi. Ah, the keeper's got to do better than that. That's absolutely woeful. But we'll bring the man of the hour on back into the first team. Comes Kalashian Huntelar back in as a target man. Um, I don't know if we may see Draxler. So 20 minutes still to go, so I'm kind of going to phase out a little bit. We'll go counter, I think. If anything, he's going to come on maybe. Yep, for the last couple of minutes, just to waste time. Uh, keep the system as it is, just in case we can get a counter attack for the big man, little man partnership up top. Four minutes, three minutes. Spoke the whistle referee. This would be a great couple of points against the team, as I say, that were challenging us last year. For the Champions League spots, and that is a fantastic result. That is what you want to see. Well done to the boys, but overall, you know, they've had more shots. Obviously, we've had a bit more possession, but the fact we've been able to grind out a victory like that. All right, he goes for Meyer and Chicharito, but it was Bastos scoring from them. It's going to continue on because obviously Bayern play in the evening game, so we'll see how Bayern goes and how that reflects the table. They win by two goals to nil from Hoysberg and Dante. Portland winning as well, they won 2 0. So we'll just have a quick look then at the league table. Bayern are out in front, they've won 8, drawn 1, lost 0 at 25 points. We've won 7, lost 2 in 21. 3 points ahead of Dortmund, and then it's a little gap before Stuttgart and Bremen. So Bayern, they're going to be the team to beat. That's, that seems to be the current theme and probably toxic save as well. So I think what we need to do is when we play Bayern, we've got to go all out, try and win. At the same time, remain consistent. The defeat against Leipzig shouldn't have happened. Stuttgart was just uh, one of those days. But if we can remain consistent, they've got to drop points eventually. And hopefully, led by Chicharito, we can do that. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. The next video will be at the end of the... Well, before the break. End of the, the start of the winter break. Basically up to the end of December. Hopefully then we'll be close to Bayern. We'll have played Bayern once. And we'll know what our fate is in the Champions League. So if you enjoyed this video guys, please smash the hell out of the old like button. If you have any comments, please leave them on the comments section below. If you have any comments on the series, who do you think will win, me or Toxic, or just any general football in comments, just let me know. It's always good to talk about football, just randomly. But apart from that, of course, remember to go and watch Toxic's video, go and like his video, go and comment his video, go subscribe to his channel, go and punch him for giving us Mark O'Brien and loan. But uh, yep, yeah, definitely go and do all that because Jordan uh, Toxic is a 
He's a cracking lad, man. He's a good guy. He really is. Apart from sending us O'Brien and Moan, which I honestly will never ever forgive him for. But apart from that, guys, thank you for watching. Honestly, I'm having a blast with this save. It's definitely the only FM save apart from the FM division that I'm playing at the moment. That's why I've not been streaming. I am. Um, but no, I am. Um, it's really. If it wasn't for Toxic's idea of doing this, then I would have literally no FM stuff at all. So I gotta thank him for that. Uh, I won't thank him if he beats me though. But apart from that, guys, thank you, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.